So can you tell me a little bit about the press release and what happened? Yeah, so I was very disappointed to see that um, uh, my colleagues had decided to write um, this press release, especially on, on Veterans you know, Day weekend. I, I think it was very uh, inappropriate, but not having the facts. Most of the people on the letter didn't have the facts. Representative Diamond Garcia, Senator Gabbard, because uh, represent, uh, excuse me, Councilwoman Andrea Tupola, who came with Samantha DeCourt, was actually told by the group that brought the, brought the banners that I had nothing, me and Elma Darius had nothing to do with it. So Andrea knew that when she left, hugged everybody, took pictures, said aloha, thank you, and she went. And then a few days later, she signs on this uh, press release. So it's very um, uh, mind-boggling that they would, they would take that kind of angle. And with Cedric and Miley, um, you know, not knowing the facts and they live in that community, they know the persons who did it. Um, they know that I, even though I'm, um, I'm, I'm family, my family's on that side of the island, but it shouldn't be guilty with me by association. And that's what to me it seems like. But, you know, we have a lot of people on our, in our families that is on one side of, of, of law enforcement and the other side. Does it make us guilty of those things? No, it does not. But it would have been a common courtesy, not, not Andrea, because she already knew, but the rest of my colleagues should have been um, happy enough to call me. Because they call me for everything else, but they couldn't call me to tell me that, hey, um, you know, Senator Gabbard, uh, Representative Diamond Garcia, you know, could have said, hey, um, you know, they're talking about you did this. Um, do, you, do you have your side of it? And I would have told them, you know, I came early in the morning. I came there seven, seven, eight o'clock in the morning, and, and you also came at nine, and uh, none of them was there when I was setting up for my sign leaving for these kinds of stuff. And this is my Facebook press, you know, oh, sorry, press release. And this is my press release. Has nothing to talk about government officials and mayors. But the funny thing that I wanted to share with you, when mayor came down and Mike Forby came down, and later on we, we talked about other things in the communities, we come to our parks and other stuff. They didn't have any, they, they didn't have any, um, like, suspicion or thinking that I had anything to do with it. Because they unhugged me, we talked, and they left. Because they know I, they seen me there early, setting up, and they wasn't with me. These guys came, you know, this other group came about 10, maybe, I don't know, 10.30, maybe later. But they wasn't with my, my little group that I had, four or five of us. Uh, for the violence on the west side. We just had a, a sign waving from Eva Makai to Makaha with all the different neighborhood watches and all the different ones to show the unification from Eva Beach to Makaha on the gun violence and the seriousness of this. To put out a press release like this just to, um, for whatever, whatever reason, it really doesn't enhance any of the stuff that we're trying to do. Right now, the most important thing is not me. It's not them. It's not the sign waving against them or for them, or whatever. It's about the kids, our kupuna, and our family members that are suffering on the west side on gun violence. If they just put half of their efforts, strengths, and mind and heart on one letter like this into their own community, maybe we wouldn't have it so bad. And their community wouldn't go against them. You know what I mean? I have family in the community. I don't approve of any of those things, but it was to me, I didn't see nothing that was... Uh, um, vulgar, you know, never have bad language or anything like that. It was their purview. It was their freedom of speech. It was their, you know, First Amendment right to, to wave signs because of what they feel on the West Side personally. You know, I, I don't have nothing personally against none of them. But like I said, it was just to me a poor taste when they came out knowing that it was the Veterans Day weekend and everybody else was celebrating stuff about how we're being protected by our you know, our, our, our military families that lost their lives. And you put out a press release like this, you know, that was very, that, that was very, um, not in good taste. And, and it wasn't Pono, yeah? Mm -hmm. Transparency is transparency. So whatever the group had to say to those uh, individuals, only one person that really came and went home molly molly with them. And that was Blen Mayor Blen Jordy. So I don't know all the conversations that they had. All I know is that he promised the group that they was going to have a, a meeting within 30 days. And f he called me up, uh, left a message. Uh, we had some other things that we had to talk about. But he left a message and said, hey, I'm just letting you know. I, talk, I reached out to the group. 
And, um, you know, uh, I told them I gave them three or four dates. I'm going to come out to the community and address this issue. So whether it was good or bad, um, at the end of the day, they got their message across to the mayor. And they went shake hands, they went hug, they went kiss, took pictures, everything. Same with Andrea. Andrea and, and, and Samantha went hug all of them, took pictures with Elle, Sabrina them. And then she went and she still signed her name to this. And I know she had called out for certain individuals that I heard that she called out, she called Mike Gabbard and she called uh, Diamond Garcia. And that's what was told. And then some other people called other representatives in the, in the district and none of them wanted to sign. So the only two guys that they got to sign was Mike Gabbard and Diamond Garcia. I mean, Senator Gabbard and Representative Diamond Garcia. Not even the representatives on that side um, kind of explained that what, what would be the reason for the letter? What would be the reason for the post? And in Bamba, I'll show you the post and you can have the post what Senator, uh, excuse me, Representative uh, um, uh, Cedric Gates had put on his Facebook, you know, sponsored and promoted by, uh, what is that called, Sabrina Grace, Senator, I mean, Ever Beach, Kurt Ever Beach, and then Big El Maderis. Now, the only name that he had correct was the first one. The other two was Slander and Misinformation. And again, he has my number. He talks to me all the time. He couldn't call for clarification. He did not. He did not. And that's the sad part about it. He had no evidence and no proof that I had anything to do with it. I cannot tell an individual, hey, don't do that and take away their First Amendment rights or freedom of speech. Because I do uh, some intensive sign wavings to get my message across when it came to gambling and casinos and stuff like that and windmills and all that. So nobody told me, hey, knock it off or whatever. Um, that was my passion, that was my belief, and I, I didn't want no casinos in my community, so I came out hard. So these guys came out hard because they want their elected officials to listen to them. Not canceling meetings, not avoiding them, not having Zoom meetings that not everybody's invited. They kind of get into the Zoom meeting. Uh, you don't have a live meeting. I mean, that's the kind of stuff that, that's not being transparent. And I, like I said, I'm not trying to call it a kettle black, but hey, it, it is what it is. You got to be careful on when you point fingers, right? You know, we, 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 what our family always told us, right? When you point fingers, what happens? There's four other ones pointing at you. So get your story straight before you go out and try to slander people's names. Because I never did anything to slander any of those people's names. Like I said, I don't approve of it. I don't know all the details of why this group feels the way they feel, but they're gonna come out and they're gonna, they're gonna come out and reach out and tell the truth at the neighborhood boards, uh, the Wine Night Board, down the Quilly Board, and they're gonna, they're gonna bring this up, that, that we had nothing to do with it. It was their idea, and they just want to piggyback on my event. Because my, my, my uh, flyer that I had and my press release is public on my Facebook. So if I advertise them, anybody can come. And I'm not going to tell you, hey, get this thing. Don't come by me. Go, go 100, 100 feet away from it. That's not my thing. As long as you don't come by my space where my sound is. my I mostly play music. And I try to play music that unify and unite the community. I never play anything that divides the community or even support to do anything. I always worry about the unification of our community, co community. And that's the most important part. Like I said, I'm just a representation or a person that's filling in the gap for the communities. Uh, this is not my office, it's the community's office. I have the, have the privilege of, of using this office, but my thing and my office is out there in the public. So I came, we wanted to give the, um, the city council and the mayor, uh, 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 our, our whole thing, that I collected this. And I collected this from the West Side uh, Kupunas that gave me some of these signs. So I kept it because I continue to advocate and, and try to make people aware. My whole thing was there when you came on, um, on that, on that um, Friday, when you came, Friday, oh, no, yeah, Monday, yeah. sorry, days go by fast, on that Monday, was to let other communities know the actual intensity of the violence that is happening on the west side because it easily can come to Waikiki, it easily can go to Hawaii Kai, Kailua, it easily can go to any community if we don't get on top of it as one family. Not just a west side problem, it's a, it's a all island, all Hawaii problem because we need to take care of all of us as one ohana. 
So when I seen this, I was very, tell you the truth, I was very heartbreak broken. I called up Miley, and because I love Miley. He sent her to Miley Shubaker. I, I even though me and her butt heads all the time here on different issues, I always thought of her as being my very good friend. And same like Senator Gabbard. Senator Gabbard and me and his wife Carol and Tulsi goes all the way back when he was city council. And I supported him and Carol was on the Board of Education and Tulsi was the representative of Eva Beach. It's not like these people don't know me long time. Even Andrea, they know me long time. So it's not like they cannot pick up the phone. Hey, but uh, it's true. Oh, no, it's not. They came when I was sign waving already. When Andrea came, this is exactly what she said. She said, wow, Kurt, you could have told me, you could have called me. I said, wait, Andrea, I have nothing to do with this. If, if it had anything to do that, I wouldn't know. I would tell you. Oh, but I seen your truck in Nana Cooley with the toilets, the, the portable toilets. I said, Andrea, I was in Hilo. When that, uh, oh, but you know, you could, I said, no. When the gun, gun people called me that they needed one restroom for the sign waivers, right? I had my staff drive the truck with the toilets out there because the Kupunas and the Kikis kind of walk all the way down to Kuli Beach Park, all the way to the bathroom that is far away. So that's what I provided, water and the toilets. And I've been providing that for every sign waving that we did all the way from um, Ever Beach to, I think, as far as I went was Miley. And that was it. That was the last sign wavings I did. So we decided to give us one one more because that that weekend or that week had stabbing, had another shooting, yeah, and all that kind of stuff. And it's not getting better. It's it's getting more of an issue. Why I don't know. All I know is that we need to pray, and we need to really ask for healing. Um, for the communities, not just Waianae, but because that's happening there, we need to ask everyone to start praying for the community because the only person that can save us is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I really, truly believe that. So when I do stuff like this, even though I don't agree, even though I don't agree with what they did, but everybody, you, me, everybody out there in TV land, all have their First Amendment rights. It's just how you're going to promote it. And how you get your message across. Now, if that group came hard and never have a soft heart, you think they would be taking pictures with the mayor, hugging the mayor, because they never liked the mayor? No, they just wanted to be heard. They wanted a seat at the table. And that's what those elected officials over there lack of knowing. Somebody called me in my community, they want to meet with me. I said, okay, meet me at Locomoco. I don't fester anything. I try to meet with everybody as soon as possible. Speeding. Uh, dogs biting somebody in Hobbush. We schedule stuff so I can be out there, not on Zoom, face to face, just like this. Because that's the only way you're going to get this in. Whether they like you, love you, or hate you, they're going to respect you at the end. And that when the mayor came down, I really respect the mayor. I love him, even though I make trouble and tease him all the time. Me and him always get jokes together. But I res they respected him more than ever because he actually came down and showed that he cared. And, he's, and he's, they said they seen it in his eyes. When they was talking to him, they seen it in his eyes that he truly do care and he want to help and he just don't know how to go about it. So he wants to meet with the community that have solutions, not lip, you know. And when they told me that, it made me feel good. So I shared it with my colleagues. I said, hey, you know, I was happy that the mayor came down and talked to the group. Somebody twisted around and said, oh, I was happy about the sign waving. And that's not true. I not I don't I don't ever want to see something like that. That's their kuleana, you know. I have I have I have banners still yet in the Nanakuli uh, area for Aole uh, solar farms, same Nanakuli ranch. You know, I was sign waving out there. How come none of the elected officials out there came and sign wave with me besides Darius Kila, right? Where was Cedric? Where was Miley? Where was Andrea? Nanakuli ranch is a sacred valley. They was gonna put hundreds and hundreds of uh, solar. In there and thank God they're not going to do it now right but anybody came against me and put a press release like this that I was out there sign waving and being a bully no they did not because why because they never even come out and help the community only one person that came or well, Stacy Eli the former representative came and her family but nobody else came no Cedric no Miley no Andrea not even their staff nobody why night board why night community some of them came out and sign wave at one time, we had 30 to 40 people sign waving. Consistently, every Friday, I think it was, three, three times a week. 
We even had shirts that says, you know, protectors of Nanakuli, um, Nanakuli Valley. We had shirts, we had banners, no, no, no negative, no nothing, but no support. So how do you think those guys feel that was at that sign waving when they want to meet with the elected officials and the elected officials don't meet with them? Then they get on scheduled, the scheduled meeting with the mayor, the police department to go over this thing and then the mayor, somebody from the mayor's office, cancel it. That was supposed to be um, November 1st. And that's the reason why they came out that day because the meeting was canceled. That's what they message. So I, I don't know all the details. I only send pieces that I hear them talking while they're upset. But it was very bad taste that they came up with this statement. And I truly, truly am, you know, um, not angry. Um, I just feel, so, you know, very sad that people try to muddy up my good name on the west side. I only do good for the community. I love my people. I truly do. I go neighbor islands and all. If they call me, I come. Doesn't mean if I get senator or not. Because in the beginning part of our, our thing about being senator, it doesn't just say Eva Beach. It says state senator. So I'm a senator for everybody in the state, including my community. And I'm very blessed that Eva Beach elected me to be in office. But this kinds of stuff is nonsense, childish, and should never happen. Because we're all adults while we're supposed to be in this building. All adults, not little kids. They're trying to throw sand in somebody's eye in a sandbox. And that's all it is. Because them, all of them, including Senator Gabbard, including um, Diamond Garcia, who I talked to on the phone that we're going to have a meeting because he misunderstand, he apologized. Gabbard still never, um, Senator Gabbard still never apologized, right? And I had, I had reached out to all of them. Nobody called me back. Only uh, 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 Representative Diamond Garcia. But I'm going to tell you this. Not Andrea, not Cedric, not Miley, not Gabbard, not Diamond, would ever ruin my reputation in the community, especially the Hawaiian community, because I'm solid. When they call me, I come, period. Night or day, bathrooms, sound system, water, and, and uh, signs, I'm there. So if they're going, they're going to have anything against me because of, of this uh, slander, if I really thought it was slander, I would, I would, I would, re, I would answer on it um, in, in that way at that time. But you know what? I gotta think of it this way. If I give anything to this, right, it's just disappointment and sad. I'm very sad. Because like I said, I truly do love Mike Gabbard, truly love Senator Miley Schubert. I have issues with with my own issues with Cedric and certain things and the people that things that he didn't accomplish. And me and Diamond is different reasons that we don't see eye to eye on some of the things when we come to our colleagues. Um, I don't, I don't um, see eye to eye with him, but our friendship is not broken. I still can reach out to, to Diamond, but I don't think I can ever reach out to Andrea, uh, Miley, and Cedric because they decided to take this upon their own self and, and going forward. Like I said, I called, I called Miley to explain to her what's going on, and she had, she had some other issues, but I'm a vice chair for her for Hawaiian Affairs. So I just wanted to know, why wouldn't you call me, you know? Well, you know, sometimes you go too far, eh? What is too far? What is too far? Huh? This is too far. People dying in your community. That is too far. That is too far. You should be on the side of the road with me, sign waving, instead of judging me. Same with Cedric. Cedric would come, take pictures, put it on his Facebook, and gone. Gone. Period. And I've seen that with my own eyes. And that's what they're, they're expressing. Their frustration. But if you want to unify that community and I come in out there, back in the day, I'm going to tell you this right now, honestly. Back in the day, when my, co my cousin Eddie Piana and Uncle Eddie, yeah, back in the day in the 80s, yeah, Ever Beach, hang out at the boat harbor. Nana Cooley, why not? We all hang out together with one Ohana. What happened to that? We cannot just blame drugs. It's personalities. We divide ourselves in community. We all live, we all look the same. We're all Hawaiian. We all get, you know, different nationalities, but we're all Hawaiian. And we're fighting and shooting and killing each other. And then the elected officials is going against each other. How, how are we going to show pure leadership? That's why I love Darius Kila. Darius Kila is, is, is setting a trail on his own. He's, he's doing his own thing. He's a trailblazer. You know, he's not a follower. He's trying to be his, a leader for the benefit of his community. And that's why I love him. Now, people understand, regardless of the Democrats or Republican, I like the people that's going to do the work. 
I don't care if you're on the Republican. I don't care if you're Green Party, Purple Party, whatever party. If you're willing to care and love your community like how, how Darius do and I do and some of my other colleagues do in this building, then I'm going to support you, whether you're Democrat or Republican. If you call me out and you're a Democrat, say, hey, I want you to come Mililani, Waiwa, Wailua, Kailua, I'll come. I'll bring the same thing that I'll bring to any other event. Toilets if you need them. I'll bring, um, I'll bring the water and, and, and the signs if you need them. You got to understand, my family, why I call them families, because I knew them since I was 18 years old. Granny Grace, Granny Grace, Sabrina Grace's mom, George Grace, Junior Grace's mom, was a trailblazer. She took over thousands and thousands of homelessness feeding for the last 30, 35 years um, in, in that side of the island. That's how I got involved with that family. And the toilets that is in front of my house in Ever Beach, they gave me that toilets for community events. So I don't have to keep towing it back to Pearl City, Nana Cooley, or wherever it is for taking it back to them. They donate it and they donate it to the community for events that I need. And it, it, it's only, of course, only in, on a few times that I never drive them. And at one time I didn't drive it because my staff went out there. I got labeled that that was my uh, sign waving. So if you look at all my press release, you look at all my, my banners and my signs, not one have any of their pictures on it. Even my Facebook post that, that, that somebody would Facebook live and had those signs in the back, I deleted it. I, I didn't have it. If I have anything with Cedric, Miley, or whoever, not Miley, excuse me, forgive me. Uh, the people that they had the sign, all, I don't know all the banners. Whatever banners had people's face on it, I deleted my Facebook live because I didn't want to seem like I was promoting it. So I, I deleted it, you know. So I, I, I just want to have the message across that. I just hope Councilwoman Andrea Topola, Senator Miley Schubert and Cedric sit down with this community, sit down with them and just hear them out. They're not bullies because they're not doing nothing that is, is not within the constitutional right. But because you get sore, because it hurts, maybe it's true, maybe it's not. I don't know. I'm not one for judge. But that community is hurting. People is literally dying. And you're worrying about a sign? You're worrying about your sign with your face on them? And you're not worrying about people dying in your community? Grow up. Get thicker skin. Because we all got into this position to serve the people, not self-serve yourself. And worrying about your feelings. What about the community's feelings? That's the important thing here. Not his feelings, not her feelings, not her feelings. It's the community's feelings. And if they don't get it now, they'll never get it. You want to serve as an elected official or politician or whatever they are? Have thicker skin. I had dead threats. I had all kinds of stuff to me when I was on the neighborhood board. But did it stop me serving my community? No. Did it stop me from running for an elected official? No. You know why? Because I knew one day when I get here, I'm going to serve my community proud. And right now, I tell you right now, my community is proud. And not only my community, other communities too. So like I said, only my advice to them is grow up. Grow up. Put on your big boy pants or your big girl pants and walk the line. If you cannot, don't come up with immature stuff like this. That's, that's childish. Childish. That's all I can say. And then what are you hoping to see from those officials? Like, are you hoping to meet with them? And if you meet with them, what are you hoping is going to be done? So I'm meeting with Diamond. Um, I'm going to meet with David. David didn't sign on him. He's the representative of Ever Beach and my childhood friend. He didn't sign on him. But I'm going to meet with, um, with Diamond and David to go over our platform as um, community leaders, yeah? Not just Republican, but community leaders and how we can unite the community instead of dividing the community. So that's all I asked for Diamond. I told Diamond that I want to meet with him because I have no hard feelings. I have no hard feelings for them. I even told Miley when I was talking to her on the phone when she did this, I said, Miley, at the end of the day, I just let you know that I truly love you, right? So me and Miley are going to see each other again. Me and Senator Gabbard are going to break taffy together. You know, we're still going to make amends. The one that really got to go check herself and check himself is Cedric and Andrea. That's the ones, because Cedric never did reach out. Never did reach out. Even when I called, never got a call. Andrea would reach out periodically, but not about these kinds of issues, stuff that we talked about in our community of Ever Beach. But this is taking to the next level. They had a town hall meeting that I heard. 
that was on Zoom. And not everybody got Zoom, and not every kupuna could get on Zoom, so they couldn't participate. So to me, that kind of meeting, aole. I don't ever have that kind of meeting because it's not fair for the whole community. It's good to do them when we were at COVID, but now we're out of COVID. There's no excuse not having a face-to-face -face meeting with all of your constituents. Whether you like hear it or not, I will tell you right now, last night I had a meeting. I had, I had a very controversy fish, fish aquarium thing. Not all my community is for it, but I gave them an opportunity to have a voice, a seat at the table. That's all they're asking. They're not asking them to actually do some of the things they do, but at least hear them, at least care. So if I do, like I said, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see Senator Gabbard probably anytime soon and see Senator uh, Sherba Curl, and I still love them. I still wanna work with them. I'm not saying I'm not gonna work with Sarah and Andrea, but to, to sit down with them now, right now the wound is too open, knowing that Andrea knew that I had nothing to do with it on the sign waving day on Monday and on the 10th on Friday, she signs this paper. Now that one is hard to me to swallow because I always thought of her as being my good friend too. And to have that is hard, but I am. If they want to meet, I'll meet with them. They want to sit down and break bread. I'm willing to have lunch with them because me, it's good to eat so that we know you know, we don't be angry, we can eat, feel good, you know, at the same time. But at the end of the day, I'm open to anything. But before they sit down with me, one-on-one, -on -one, I expect them to sit down with the community that have the concern. Because right now, like I said, I'm nobody. This, this right here this is nobody, it's no, I'm nobody. This is childish, like I said. But if they want to sit down with me, they need to break bread with their own community. Miley, Senator Shubakuro, Cedric and Andrea. Mike and, and Diamond, there's this collateral damage. That's it, bottom line. But I'm willing to move forward over this, but like I said, um, at the end of the day, we gotta stop the killing on the west side. It's not rumors, it's rumors. People dying, and we gotta stop that. And how are we gonna do that if we're fighting with each other? There's no unification if the elected officials are fighting. Or, not like use the word fighting, that's a little bit strong, but having disagreements and misunderstanding. That's, that's what I'm gonna say. We're not fighting because, you know, we're not using our hands or anything like that. We're having a disagreement and misunderstanding, you know. So, I'm just sorry, I just feel sorry that if we can heal, they have to talk to the community first. The community said, hey, we had a great meeting with Senator Shirobokoro, Andrea, and Cedric, fine. Let's break bread, let's heal. But if they don't, it's hard. How am I gonna sit down with them and I, I'm, gonna get a, I'm gonna get a first chance shot to sit at the table across them when the community don't even have that? How fair is that? It's not fair. Not because I want Senator. Not because I Kurt Fivella. No, I am nobody. The community that's feeling and seeing and hearing about the murders in their community, they should be first. I should be last. And that's the reason why when you came out and I told you, right, talk to talk to Al and talk to, because they're the ones, they, that's their community. But Al would know more because he, he lives in Waianae and he, he knows the, the people that sign waving with him with the AM, AM fighting and all those guys. They, they're the ones started it. And I just came and been a part of it and brought uh, um, uh, refreshments. But that's all it was. So I joined their thing and that's with the, with the council that 